South Carolina is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Missouri's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Got him on the screenplay. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Interesting call here by the offensive coordinator to go with the screen pass. It picks up the first down and gets the defense, again, another thing to think about to slow them down maybe later in the game with their pass rush. Makes it to the 41. With the run. Gain of 12 yards. First down. There he goes. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. That's a game of nine on the play. That brings, that brings up second, second and one. one. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 17-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. That makes it first and 10. Let's go, D. Go! The five. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They're at the two. It's first down. They line up in the jumbo set. Hey, check, Quick throw, caught, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's a gain of two on one play. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Sets up a screen, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Two. Easy, easy. Two. Throws a bullet over the middle. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he tackled hard at the 41-yard line.
yardage situation here. Second down and one. Second and ten. Ball on the 30. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. Scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. You know, Brad, that's the second, third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise, and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. First, first and goal here inside the five-yard line. They make the stop around the two-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. Interested to see how he responds from him and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. And this is the 13th play of this drive. 22, 22, 22. Defense in their short yardage package. Go for it! Touchdown, South Carolina! He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. It was a 13-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown. As a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Straight reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. He puts it away. It's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 34. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Gets to around the 42.
second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 45. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Receivers got the first down. He's taken down at the 42. Strike complete, and down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Number 52 on the tackle at the 36-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red two, go. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it 35. This is the eighth play of this drive. Red two, green eight. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Get to that quickly. He's to the 40. Inside the 30. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. That's a gain of 59 on the play. First down. The 10. He's tackled around the four yard line. That's good for the end of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Mizzou. He hits the PAT. So a short three play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's got his man. Brought down at about the 45. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down.
from their own 45-yard line. First down. Runs it left for a decent game. That makes it second and six. Watch 14, watch 14. And he hits him hard at the 47. Coaches don't like it when their quarterbacks hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 47 yard line, third down. He's going to air it long. Big catch there as they knock it First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Gamecocks. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. South Carolina to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Missouri's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star player is not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of nine, nine yards. yards. Hey, check, check back First 11. Down. Check back 11. Roger, Roger. Watch 20, check 20. Hey, Doc. Hey, hey kill, 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 kill. Now he's flushed and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. A decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. South Carolina is up by three. Black five, black five. And they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up third and four. He's got it out to his tight end. 
love to watch quarterbacks on third down, just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. Just another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of down. Zips it to the back. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Red two, yellow three. Yellow three. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Tackle at the 42-yard line. Yellow three. Yellow three. Red two. Watched out, and he's going to get sacked. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. yard line. Well, we played a half of football. South Carolina's got a three-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to feeling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great, it's close, going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Sends it sailing downfield. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. South Carolina holds a field goal lead. Changes way to the 30. From their own 36 yard line. It's first down. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop around the 44 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Makes it second and two. They bring him down in the back. Did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 42. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red two. X. Scrambling around. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 43.
first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Try and scramble. Tackle made at the 37. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. Third down again. South Carolina is up a field goal. Green nine. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. Kicks up. And he got it. Sends this one deep. This one will be down in the touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it, and he's looking for more. First and ten. ten. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. And they push him out at about the 47-yard line. He's hit and got away. There he goes. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 13-yard line. First down. He scrambled. He's taken down at about the 11. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Tigers! Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 21-20, Missouri. To kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throw, he caught it, and down he goes to 37 yard line. First and 10, all on their own 37. Fires it 
fires quick. He catches another. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That'll make it second and four. He tackles him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 39. My game, my game. Go! Here we go, here we go. Looks middle, got his back. He's tackled at the 44. Makes the reception. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up fourth and three. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. Missouri is up one. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Here's an opening. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. Check, check back eleven, check back eleven. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a game of six yards. That will make it second and four. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. The Tigers lead it by one. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Five wide. Black five, black five. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 37 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Check back 11, check back 11. Kill, kill, kill. He's hit and taken down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 15. Missouri with a one-point lead. I'm coming after you. Gets it out quickly. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. Touchdown, Mizzou. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 80 yard drive, and they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30. Three down, three down. Check down, check down. 81, 81. Just throws this one away. Tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 45. From their own 45 yard line. First down. Throws this one away. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike eight. The quarterback Mike in the eight. gun the with five receivers. Red, two, six. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 38-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He scores. What a play. I'm telling you right now, in college football, there's not a bigger weapon than a quarterback that can pass and run. You've got yourself a football player. That is a big league run. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Scrambling around. He's in for the conversion. Those guys just came through with probably the biggest play of the game. They had to get the conversion, and they got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. He's pushed out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Dunk. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's level at the 44-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 
squeeze, squeeze. He's on the run. And he's sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. And here's another third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll knock him down for a loss. South Carolina's going to take their first time out of the half. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Fires across the middle. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Missouri is going to use their first time out of the half here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. So the sack makes this third and very low. as he threw and he completes it. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. It's away and it's a booming punt. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's tackled to the 33-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 22 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. Under a minute left in the game. Missed it. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. Man left, man left. That brings up third and ten. Four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down. Right around the 44-yard line. He scrambled, and they got him. And it's almost picked off. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Go! 
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. And he almost has the INT. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 37. Kill, kill. And the two. That makes it 33. Yellow three. Now he tries to buy some time. We're going to overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. You're not ready. You're not ready. Hey, check, check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. Now he's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 16-yard line. That brings up second It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The 10. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and goal. E9, E9. And he's stopped behind the line. From the 14 yard line. It's second down. Scrambling around. Slides down. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. That makes it third and goal. Watch one, watch one. They're going to need some therapy. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. It's up, and they tack on three points. Second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 28. Yeah, let's go sack lunch. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Number 31 makes the set goal at the 25 yard line. That brings up third and 10. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Three down, three down. Mike A, Mike A. Here we go. Going for it all to the end zone. This one is over.
Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. South Carolina, 34. Missouri, 31. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.